what happened in Lagos and we don't want it to happen in our community. The walls are cracked and the floors are lapidated. Whatever the government can do for us, they should go ahead and do it now and fast. The cost of corruption is a huge price that will not only be paid by the current generation, but by the future ones if nothing drastic is done to check it. Project monitoring team visited Amozu community in Amaimo, Ikeduru local government area in the Eastern Senatorial District of Imo State to ascertain the state of a 2016 budgeted project in the area. In 2016, Tracker called the attention of the community to the fact that the project for the rehabilitation of the Amozu Community School has been included as part of constituency project under Senator Samuel Anyamu in the budget. The primary school, which is the only one in the community, has structures that were said to be built over 70 years ago and are currently under threat of collapse. The chairman of Amozo community, Chief Ephraim Eku, narrated the apply. Building and environment is not conducive for learning at all. We come across a budget a member whom we narrated our ordeal as regards this school. We tracked the school in 2016 um, for the renovation and equipping of a school, of Amuzu Community School in the year 2016. And after the tracking, the community didn't have any, any idea of it though, so we had to go ahead and uh, sensitize them, hold town hall meeting with them and write a community letter. And uh, we learned that there was a, a budget for this school, for renovation that will go up to 5 million and we are looking forward to see the day we will see sand and block or contractors within the school or the, within the community to start off with the job. Up to now we did see nothing. Got response, yes, from the barrister from, uh, on behalf of the senator which after which promises were made that the school, that they will come and um, renovate on the school and do the necessary things. But, you know, up to then from then to now, nothing has you know been done in the school, which is very very you know deteriorating in a way. Looking at the age of the words, is very dangerous. The headmistress of the school, Mrs. Asumta Choma, shares the challenges she faces managing the school. Could you imagine in a school at times we may see snakes while teaching in the class? A teacher you will see a snake or you see centipedes in the classroom. It frightens our learners. If you come to the classrooms, everywhere is a patch. Look at the floors. There are, there are potholes in the class. How can learners be sitting in the class writing instead of relaxing in their seats? That's because we don't have a seats in the school. It's quite discouraging and annoying that our own children are supposed to enjoy this facility as other communities are enjoying and not enjoying it. Here in the school, I'm just managing the parking store as an office. I don't have an office. Whenever I come to school, I go to the store to squish myself, to manage myself until the school dismisses. When you look around, you will find out that uh, the building itself, some of the buildings are falling off. The things are falling off during rainy season, it's, the leak, the things are leaking. The surroundings of the building and the environment it's not conducive for learning at all. We, the children in these uh, classrooms that are falling off, nobody knows what will happen tomorrow. So we are planning to pull down the whole structure so that uh, the children will be relocated. The school has no toilet facilities. To obey the call of nature, teachers and pupils have to tread this path to the bush. They have no school toilets. I even give kudos to the teachers, the teachers themselves, even if the children can go into the bush. It's not what they're supposed to be doing, going into the bush where you see reptiles and all these insects with the little children. How can a whole teacher come to school and then when you are not feeling comfortable or you feel like easing yourself, you run to the bush? On what the community expects from the government, Chief Eku and Mrs. Azum Tachioma have this to say. What we need is that the government, the state government or the federal government to come for our assistance by the pulling down of this old structure that is over 100 years. The building is about to collapse like what happened in Lagos 
two days ago. That's why we are pleading for the help of the government. They should come and uh, give a helping hand to these communities. The cost of corruption has a ripple effect on this community. An unhealthy environment is not good for learning. The pupils and teachers are prone to diseases due to open defecation. The building, if it collapses, could lead to loss of lives. We need to make education a priority.